Number six, a baseball player with mass equal to 79 kilograms sliding into second base is retarded by a frictional force of magnitude 470 newtons. What is the coefficient of kinetic friction mu k between the player and the ground? So let's say this is the ground over here. Okay, so this is the ground. And let's say this is the player. So let's suppose that it's moving to the right initially. So let's draw the forces that are acting in the player. So we have a frictional force to the left. We have the gravitational force pointing downwards and the normal force pointing upwards. Okay. And we also know that since the player is moving, we can calculate this force over here, the frictional force. So since it's moving, it will be a kinetic frictional force, which is equal to mu k times the normal force, right? And we also know that the normal force over here, since there aren't other, any other vertical forces, only the gravitational force and the normal force, so the normal force and the gravitational force must cancel out. So the absolute value of the normal force is equal to the gravitational force, which is equal to mass times gravity, right? So let's just remember that we want to know the value of mu k over here. And we know this value over here. And in principle, we don't know this value over here, but we know this value and this value. So let's just replace the normal force by m times g. So the frictional force is equal to mu k times m times g. And the only thing that we have to do is to isolate mu k. So mu k is equal to the frictional force divided by m times g. And this is equal to, let's say, let's see, 470 divided by 79 times 9.8. And this will be equal to 0 0.61. Do, just remember to do not add any unit because the coefficient of friction, the, the kinetic, the coefficient of kinetic friction and the static as well doesn't have any unity. So the answer is just 0 0.61.